Okay, starting um, on the outside, there are two guys working on the inside, so um, I can't really do a video in there. They're laying the tile in the three bathrooms. Um, so what we're looking at out here, um, obviously, is the landscaping. Um, I'm hoping to have that quote done um, and to me by tomorrow morning at the latest. Um, what you do have here in the front of the house, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you see all the little pieces um, on the flashing above, um, right below the roof line. Uh, I'm assuming that the gutters will cover that. Um, what we are also looking at here is the two wooden gate posts that need to be painted. So this video is just going to go over what we need done on the outside. You're going to start to hear the um, tile saw in a minute. Um, but you can see above the door, the missing piece up there. Um, the door was, did not get a second coat of paint today. Um, but we're changing the color anyway. And then the same thing right below the door. There's no finishing either below there. And that little kick plate needs to be painted. So we'll have to get some white outside paint. Okay, let's take a walk around the house so that you can see what else is missing. Um, we already know Eric has on his list to redo um, to redo that lattice around the HVAC unit. So we're all set on that. Um, this will be taken care of here when um, Eric paints. Uh, but there's things like that, like the post for the old side steps. Um, that needs to either go away or it needs to be camouflaged by some sort of plantings. Um, you know, when you have clients coming through, we need, when you have potential buyers coming through at this price point, these are the details that are going to make a difference. Um, so, you know, you can see we're going to need a lot of landscaping help. Um, we already know about power washing. However, good news, deck was completed in the back. So, they just haven't put the, the boards along the bottom yet. And the caps on the posts haven't gone in yet. Um, so that's, that's a good thing. That part is done. Um, Nathan and I, uh, Nathan, Eric and I spoke about um, maybe putting some kind of plantings in, in this spot right here. Um, obviously, we know the power wash has to be done. And then we get around to this side of the house. This is where all the problematic stuff is. So we have, first off, this air conditioner and the bracket that it sits in is rusted out. That has to go. Um, and some something needs to be put in there if we're not going to have that unit in time. Um, again, I'm guessing all of the um, all of the things that are wrong right here will be addressed by a gutter, or that's my hope at least. Um, you do have, I don't know if you can see that up pipe right there with all the rust on it, but uh, maybe a coat of paint on that would be fantastic, as would be a coat of paint on the chimney would be good too. Um, moving on from the air conditioner, we get here to this back door. Um, there is no light fixture on the back door. Um, the, the door itself really could use either a good cleaning and painting or it needs to be replaced. And then you have the screen door, which um, if you look where the screen door screwed into, 
you can see that they broke the wood off there. So um, you're not even going to be able to reattach this screen door without fixing that wood around the door. Um, and, and really, again, the door is in bad shape. So um, my suggestion would be um, to replace it if we can. Now, outside shower. I'm going to move this cinder block out of the way. Um, so here is what the outside shower looks like. He did put, I will say, that's new. So he did put the fixture in right here. Um, but I don't know what this is right up here. So there's no ceiling. There's exposed insulation. And there's a bunch of wires hanging down. So obviously there was a light out here in the shower at some point. Um, and if you can see this special board that's up, doesn't go all the way up. There's at least a good two inches missing um, from what I can tell here. So it, it and the exposed rafter um, up there as well, you can see it. So the, the, the top of the shower as you go around, it's the same on the left side and in the back, and then you get here to this side and it's two inches short. So something's going to have to be done to camouflage that. Um, and something's going to have to be done with the ceiling out there. Um, this is the gas meter. Um, I don't believe that we can do anything to get it replaced um, in enough time. Um, we might be able to call Sharp Energy, but my guess is they won't replace that. Um, but maybe we can paint it or clean it or do something to it that uh, visually it's not appealing um, as is this is what the front the floor looks like in front of the um, shower and in front of the door you can see that kick plate down there um, in my opinion maybe should have had a piece of um, you know white covering it from this when they sided the house um, all right, and then there's this flower bed, which will be addressed by the landscaper, so we're okay with that. Um, and then we get over here to this box, which is the cable box, but I'm not sure why it got left hanging here like that. So that's the outside of the house. Um, I am going to come back early in the morning to read to do the inside of the house they're they're working with a saw the tile saw in there so there's no way that i'm going to be able to do a video where you're going to be able to hear anything um, so i'm going to come back early tomorrow morning and take care of that um, but any questions on this just let me know okay thanks bye